Hello guys, welcome to life. Welcome to another beautiful experience here on the Foam TV. My name is a Foam Hune. Thank you for sticking to this channel, watching the videos and subscribing. I particularly appreciate your comments, your suggestions and all the very positive reviews that you give us. But it's all good it helps keep us on our toes and challenges us to always bring you the best and well researched information on agriculture on agribusiness in africa in ghana and around the world today i'm going to bring you a very inspiring story of a very young hard-working guy that i have recently met so a couple of weeks back i got a call from one young man from kumasi who told me a very indulgent story a very intriguing story about how he started a small snail farm at his working site and how the snail farm has grown to this level where i am particularly proud of him so i'm going to talk to the guy in a few minutes and let you know his full story but i want to give you the background of a story so it goes like this he was employed as a construction worker in one of the big firms to go and build office complexes in kumasi he's originally not from kumasi so when he went there he was I mean, accommodated on site. And that is where he got the idea day in, day out after closing from work, decided to start a snail farm in a very small space behind the office complexes that they were building so that he could also at least earn some income from some other sources. So he started with about... 30 snails and has been going on it for let's say 12 months after the 12 months he claims he has sold about 1800 snails already and currently has about 3000 snails stocked in his pen so when he told me this story and he sent me videos and pictures to prove that there's really a snail farm I got very interested about the story of this young man, his perseverance, his endurance, and wanted to go and see him for what he has done. I drove all the way to Kumase to go and meet this young man and engage him and hear the story for myself. Oh, you are somewhere. Now, I then I will start snow farming. Me, me, I mean, 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 And to a construction worker. Any of our CBC dine. And I'll buy a who say, No, obey a BBA can the old yen. And I'll start this a old yen. And two Sarano Pa, no Boma Dianica, no Aquae or Juma. And you may know I'll be sure of Macacra. And you know, I didn't know what the ISA. We thirty eight, how many months and I yes in it? Okay, as a year, dear, as a living eleven months. Okay, and you're saying one year, by my dick at first step where you find one year. What tongue bears a thing? My tongue bears thousand eight. And one of my thousand eight. Mm. And what tongue? Mm. Okay, what the saying is that here roughly? 
Maybe my mama put thirty. We didn't wait thirty. And it started here. And our mama two hour, two hour, and within one year, no, we came here to move be thousand eight. And so far, the kind of what high is no, we do any bus on be sixteen. Be at least three thousand. Almost three thousand here on be two. And so, um, the name person amount for you know who no eh. Say the be a case amount for some opportunities new ho a juma new ho and a yen be I mean this is somebody your best at a juma oh baby na or the a juma na sa seca cred dan chain be a statue se or yen snails. I mean it's set up no and yen it ain't extravagant, just a central setup. Yeah me as sure as a mu yeah we a cab block back one idea better to be sa no the idea and crank a crack sa ah I mean it's just a remarkable story I wanted to share with you. I came here not because necessarily for the snails. I wanted to share when he called me and told me about his story and how he started the snail farm and how it's going. I just wanted to meet him and then share his story with you guys and let you know that look, there are opportunities around. Don't sit there, fold your arms and complain about everything and not see the good in anything. Start something small. I'm sure when he sells this, it will be very appreciable amount of money that he's going to get in his pocket. So just to get you motivated let you know there's a lot happening and then there's a lot that you can also do on your own to help yourself and mother ghana so i'm sure i'm going to give you an update on what's going to happen in here and then let you know what happened to the snails from this small farm that you can see here so until we meet again it's bye from me a phone here bye 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 but wait that is not the end of the story so i went back the following day because he told me as they have completed the construction of the office complexes their job was done and then now he had to go back to another location where the construction company is going to take them so he needed somebody who was willing to buy all the snails about three thousand of them um so he could you know um move to his new location so he offered me the opportunity to buy those um snails i went back we took out all the snails um he brought them out in the open and that is when i saw really how many snails that this guy actually had and trust me you know he doesn't have a lot of experience with snail farming but just on his own and with the little knowledge whatsoever that he had he had been able to do a good job um from what um, i saw so we cleaned the snails we spoke about how much um he wanted to take for all of them and we negotiated and then made a deal so i'm going to get these snails a new home going to give them a new home i built my greenhouse i have greenhouses so i'm going to put these snails in one of those greenhouses and see how well they will do i'm sure that's going to be a better environment where they are going to be fed well where they are going to be catered for well and um, um at the end of the day uh, have a better um, productivity from these snails one thing about transporting snails these baskets are usually what we use to transport the snails so because these are long basket with a lot of you know holes on them that allows for a lot of air so they are best for transporting the snails there are other smaller baskets too that other people also use so long as you have a lot of air for the snails that is okay for them so in each one of these baskets we put about 500 to 600 snails in each one of these baskets and i carried about six baskets about six baskets so truly when he said that the snails were about three thousand he was not really lying and guys know that these baskets could have taken more I mean, we could have put about even a thousand in each one of those baskets. 
but I didn't want to cramp them up because I was traveling for over 200 kilometers and I didn't want to put them in a lot of stress where by the time you get to where you are going to stalk the snails, most of them are too tired or almost dying. So that's why we chose to put, I mean, those um, 500 to 600 snails in one of those um, baskets. So at the end of the day, the the takeaway from this story is that this young man with little knowledge or education about snail farming has been able to start small and if if i tell you the amount i paid for all these snails i'm sure if you compare it to even his monthly salary that he gets from the construction the amount he got from these snails about three thousand snails alone will be about several months of his salary added together and that is what i am um, my buying the snails and everything that i wanted to do um for this guy was to actually put out the story or put out the narrative that snail farming is a good business for people with little income for people who want to start small for people who want to earn an extra income from whatever um side hustle that they want to do snail farming is a very good agribusiness to consider and that is what we are taking away from this story Okay, so we are back today um, to look at the snails again. We've bought every stock that he has. So, Sammy, and now you are buying every snail, you know. You are turning in. Say now, Philly. Yeah, man, you are just. Yo, until no, a foot will bang, and I'll be two other Ghanaians, other youth, you know. So, almost so tiro, almost so you many ho, almost so you need to be young, and then I will catch you. You know, catch you, man. I say. So many things for my wild nas now prania. Obit me a year, beb wow. Okay. So, guys, um, I'm sure. Um, you've listened to the story. I mean, my interest is always bringing you an inspiring and educative and informative um, story that is going to fire you up, that is going to light and spark in you to also start something in the agribusiness space in Ghana or in Africa as a whole. So today we've bought everything that he has, um, I mean, to set him up in a way to start other things or get into another venture that will also be very beneficial to him. So if today is your first time watching this channel, we always bring you such inspiring stories. So click on the subscribe button, share this video, leave us a comment. We'll be glad to respond to your comment. Until we meet again another time, it's a film here and I say bye-bye.